Meteorologist Elisa Rafa back here in town with us uh, with a quick check of those temperatures outside, Elisa. I mean, gorgeous outside. Bright blue skies, just really beautiful. Temperature is warm, too. 84 degrees right now in Charlotte. It's 82 in Lancaster, 80 in Monroe, 81 degrees up in uh, Salisbury. Now, these temperatures in the 80s are above average. Average for this time of October is about 78. Dew points are really dry, though, so temperatures are warm, but it comes with a little bit more of that fall feel at the bottom of the muggy meter with things feeling really pleasant. So we've got some clean sweeps on satellite and radar. Things are nice and dry because we have this area of high pressure and control. So it's going to keep us sunny and mild through the next several days. We're going to keep things pretty uh, quiet. Mostly sunny as we go through the evening, comfortable tonight. Temperatures in the middle 60s by midnight at the bus stop in the morning. You're looking at temperatures falling into the upper 50s. Clear skies again, maybe just a little bit of a jacket on the kids. And then we'll have sunshine through the, the afternoon again. Temperatures warm, some low and middle 80s as we go through your day. Now the sunny stretch again continues through most of the work week. Friday, there's a tiny isolated shower chance, but again, most of us are dry. We'll find, you think, a healthier chance for showers on Saturday. But even then, it's still kind of few and far between. The rain looks really light and spotty. So that high pressure keeps us in, in control through most of the week. So that's what's going to keep us sunny and mild uh, as we go through the week here. Temperatures will stay pretty warm, looking at highs in the 80s through Friday. And look at what happens, though, by Sunday. We'll find that cold front come through with some showers, and it's going to really take those temperatures down a notch. Way below average, upper 60s by Sunday will be 10 degrees below average. So here's a look at that rain. You can see it comes through with just a few showers. Timing is probably late Friday into early on Saturday, and then we'll find that clear. Now, we do need some rain. We barely got an inch of rain so far in September. When we look at the record books, September, October, November is, is fall, so we're already three inches below average for fall. So we could use some uh, some of that rain. Again, I don't think it's going to be too much, though, as we go into uh, the weekend. Still watching a tropical storm. This is Felipe. It's got 50 mile per hour winds. Tropical storm warnings, in effect, for some of those islands like Barbuda and, and Antigua. Uh, continue to move north and west at seven miles per hour and it will kind of skirt past all of these islands here continuing to take this northern track uh, just to the east there of Bermuda it could become a hurricane as it goes into the Atlantic but overall still not finding too much of a threat to land. So we'll find temperatures cool again tonight, upper 50s under clear skies. Nice again tomorrow. Temperatures back above average in the middle 80s with sunshine. Still pleasant and beautiful. Gorgeous for that uh, Wednesday game. Charlotte FC uh, plays on Wednesday. Beautiful there. We'll keep things a little bit uh, more cloudy, partly cloudy on Thursday. Then we'll find some of those showers by Friday and into Saturday. <laughs> then chilly by Sunday. Overnight lows could dip in the upper 50s. Uh, upper 40s rather. Don't go anywhere. Queen City News, the most local news in the Carolinas. We'll be right back.